Hello again, this is Mike with the SEO Alien. Today we're going to talk about the, the Divi library and the Divi custom widgets and how you can use those to speed up your posts and also deliver more uh, relevant content to that post so your readers can get the most out of it. So here we go. Divi has right here a section called Divi library. And what these are is they're custom pre-made templates and you can save them as global, which means it will ship. If you edit it, it will change it site wide. A lot of advantages to that. Or you have so it's not global, so you can you can change it on the fly on individual posts without changing it all over the site. So you'll see here that we have blog post twenty twenty one, which is our new template that I'm using for this year, and probably will continue to use it. Before we create that, though, we also want to go to the widgets. With Divi, you can create unlimited widgets, custom widgets. So in this case, it's called this sample. And I click create. And after I see it reload, I'm going to refresh the page. And you're going to see right here, I have a new widget called sample. Okay, now I can drag any of my uh, pre-made templates into here. And... There it is. So I have a custom widget that I just created. So here's all my major advertisers, if I will, my affiliate programs that I have filled in. Now, what's nice about this is if this ever changes, um, if this gets outdated or it's not relevant anymore, I can change it right here and it changes it site wide. So I never have to go back to every individual post and go, that needs to be changed because it's outdated. That can be very time consuming. Now, the way you do this is you don't go to layouts and create a new layout. And I'll show you why. It just won't allow you to do what we need to do. The first thing you need to do is create an, is go to posts and go to add new. And, and we're going to save this as a template. So here we go. We'll just start from scratch. We'll call this template one. Now we're going to use the Divi Builder. Divi Builder is going to give us a cho choice now. We can start building or we can browse layouts. For this first step, we're going to start building. And I'm not going to add anything because this section is actually going to get deleted in a minute, but I can't delete it till I add any section. So we're going to create a specialty section. And I like to use this one here, the second row down from the left. And I'm going to add these. Now you might say, well, what are those? Well, here they are. This first one is going to be a text box. The second one, I usually put an image, but again, you can do this however you like. I like to use the two columns here. This is basically where the article goes. And this row over here is going to be the widget. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add sidebar. And there's my sidebar. Now here's all my widgets. Remember I have them all predefined over here. Well, when I, when I do this first one, I'm going to add the sidebar that I want. So let's go to, in this case, post sidebar. Now I edit the sidebar a little bit. We can go to the visual view and I'll show you what I mean. And this makes it really quick. So I'm going to do my a quick edit here on this. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to spacing and I want left five and I want border on just here to be not black. I don't want it black. So I can go in here and I can edit this color. I can try to match it up to the color on the uh, right side there, which is right about here. All right. So there we go. I like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just duplicate this. So I can go back. Let's go back here. And I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to go to the sidebar and I'm going to find my next widget. So my next widget is going to be this one and then save it. And then what I also do here, as you should label these, go ahead and take the time to do it. So you know exactly what these are when you save them. So you know that's category. I'm gonna put category in here and so on and so forth. So let's just do one more and we're going to go here. Oops, we're gonna go here, we're gonna to go to archive. So add and label archive. Now, the reason I'm just duplicating these is because it's also going to duplicate the settings. So all the way down, see how this has got the gray bar here. Um, and it's going to be the same for everyone all the way down. 
And then what we're going to do is let's go back here is you'll save draft or you go to here. We're going to download this. We're going to save this as template one. All right. Articles. And I'm going to go to save to library. Now you can add all your widgets. And I'm going to show you here what, what we've done to help speed things up. So let's go ahead and close out of here. Uh, I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go to my layout. So let's refresh my layout. So we should have category one right here. And there it is right here, template one. Now I can, go, I can go in here now and I can edit this and I can add more stuff to it. I already got what I need. So what I've, what we have here is we have this layout already pre-designed, has everything I need in here. I'm going to go over this with you in just a minute. We'll go add a new post. So there's our pre-made. Now I'll never use all these widgets, but I'll show you again what we do. So here we go. Let's go ahead and add a new post. And this is going to be the post. I already have it pre-written. Now I'm going to turn on no sidebar because our template has a sidebar built in. So you want to turn that off. If you don't see your Divi page settings, go to your screen options and you'll see Divi page settings up in the top here. Turn them to make sure it's turned on. No sidebar. All right. The other thing is we want to set the category. In this case, I'm going to be WordPress. Um, I also want to go ahead and set my featured image. I already have uploaded that speed things up and it's right there. And I'm going to set featured image and there we have it. So now I want to save this as a draft for now. Now I'm going to use the Divi builder. And Divi Builder allows me to browse layouts because that we already got pre. Here's pre-made. These are the Divi um, gives you a bunch of pre-made templates. And here's our save templates. So I'm going to go in and there it is right there. Blog post 2021. And bam, look what I got. Now, if you go to the visual of this, you're going to see that uh, there's not much here right now except the sidebar widgets will load. And we have quite a few sidebar widgets in here. And like, I'm going to go in there and remove the ones we don't need once I determine the length of my article. So here I'm going to add the featured image. It's just the way I And there's our featured image. Perfect. And it's also up here as well. So if I go back here again to visual, you'll see where it is. Now let's add the text. Now I've already got my text here. It's right here. And I'm going to go down to the main body of my article and just paste the text. Right, put text here first. Okay. Now this first paragraph right here, I'm actually going to take it and move it to the top. I already know, based on experience here, how I need this to be. And that's pretty close. So now let's look at this, see what we got. There's my sidebar. There's my article. Now, I have these in here already because there's a lot of times we have a new uh, author and I'll put it in, put in their new information. Or I also have a lot of the authors that are um, pretty regular of ours that I've already saved as a pre-made template. So here's another way you can save it. Now all these green ones, that means they're site-wide. If I change any of their profiles, it changes it site-wide. Or I can just add an author bio one, which is the default one, and I can add it myself. So because this is my article and it's not a guest post, I'm going to delete that guest post. And I'm also going to make a spot in here for this video that you're watching right now. And we're going to add it right here. So I'm going to add from library here. Oh, excuse me. I'm not going to add. I'm going to search for the video from the library. And there it is right there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and change this, uh, the, you know, put the border and stuff. I'll do that later. But now you'll see that this page is way too long of a sidebar. Well, this is where I can change it to make it suit whatever I want. I like it when it ends even. Well, it looks like this main sidebar is perfect. So I really don't need any of these other ones. Depending on the length of my article, I can change it. So I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff right here. And boom, there it is. And that I'm going to save as a draft. And now let's preview this post and see what we have. So there's the post, there's the video. And it looks like actually I could add one more feature in here. So that's that's a good, I'm glad that worked out that way. So let's go here and let's go to post sidebar. I think I want to add, let's go here and let's go to, you know, because this is about elegant themes, let's add the elegant theme sidebar in here. And I can, I can do a few things too. I can adjust some stuff, but for the most part, it's already where I need it. Now, I, let's, let's change this. I'm going to delete this. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to go back here and go to elegant themes. And the reason is, is because that one's already got the border, already has the border predefined right here for the sidebar. And that way I don't have to go in and adjust it again. And I just know by default that I need to change the top to negative 15 margin. And what that does is it merges those lines together and they should be seamless right here. Yeah, see that? Oh, see that right there? That should merge when I save this post. But that's what we need to do. So there you go. That's how to use the um, Divi library with the Divi custom widgets. And I hope that helps. Any questions? Let me know.